Mayfield to check in with the voice of the Chiefs, Nathan Believa. Thank you, Brett, and welcome out to Dozer Park this evening. Chiefs Countdown presented by Ammer and AntActonEnergy.com. little feedback there as we get going. I left my Santa hat upstairs. Sorry, Claire. Welcome to Christmas in July. Thanks for coming out and joining us. I've got with us our peak in insurance beyond the expected point of the game from last night, Chase Brookshire. Seven innings, worked into the eighth, tied your career high in innings, no runs allowed. You look back on last night now, how do you evaluate your performance in uh, last night's game for the Chiefs? Uh, good. You know, I was pleased with uh, my outing. Um, I guess I was able to go deep into the game because we had some quick innings, um, get some ground balls, turn a couple of really big double plays, and, and so that was the difference maker. That's where I was going next. One of those big double plays got you out of really the only jam that you were in last night with a couple singles and a walk. Bases loaded, nobody out. Let's start there. When you look around, you're like, oh, bases loaded, nobody out. What's next? You know, it's just a matter of executing one pitch at a time. You know, Simo came out there and did a good job of um, you know, just giving us a little bit of a breather and, and sort of developing a game plan for how to attack this next hitter and uh, just go, you know, one pitch at a time. Then you had a fantastic double play. Richie Pedroza started it yeah. uh, and uh, made the nice flip to, to Cesar Valero right back in the lineup. Those two actually haven't worked together at all this right, year yeah, since yeah. spring training. So uh, a great double play. You gave a little uh, little clap and a fist pump coming off the yeah, field. Yeah, fantastic. And it turns out that was the hardest hit ball of the inning. So, you know, when, when those guys, you know, have your back out there, it, um, you know, it gives you confidence and you feel like you don't have to be perfect. You know, you can let them put it in play. Speaking of confidence, you look more confident on the mound. You've been back in the rotation since early June, really June 11th, once you got built back up. So uh, about a month and a month and a half, six weeks in there, and you seem more confident. Do you feel more confident? Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. I mean, it's a long season and, um, you know, it's not about how you start, but it's about how you finish. And, and you know, if you finish strong, then, you know, it's sort of, you know, you have a good feeling about it going into the off season and then getting ready for, you know, for the upcoming season. Early lead yesterday, and uh, I know with, as a pitcher that kind of uh, calms you down a little bit when the team can put a run on the board in the first inning, whether it's home or road, and you can kind of go attack more. Uh, are you that way as well? Yeah, I mean, obviously every pitcher loves to pitch with the lead, and when you got guys at the top of the lineup that have the speed that, that ours do, um, you know, it can be fun. And right. so when they get on base and – it allows the guys behind them to, um, you know, to have a little bit of flexibility to put the ball in play and, and just make things happen. Um, yeah, it's definitely easier. With this team, it's not the case from last year because they don't have a Blue Jays affiliate where, where you guys played in State College. But some of the teams we play, West Michigan was one. You might have seen a guy or two here or there last year. Does that have any relevance at all onto what you're doing? Do you, do you, can you even think back to last year when you were in State College and they were in that league and say, oh, I faced this guy twice. He got me once. I got him once. Or is it just, all right, let's see what I got off of uh, watching him last night? Yeah, that happens. Um, you know, I more than anything, you can tell by sitting up in the stands the night before you pitch and, and sort of just getting a feel for how, you know, their, their tendencies as a team or as an individuals. But, um, you know, it's definitely in the back of our minds, some of the guys that we might have faced um, last year or even in college um, and that sort of thing. It's been kind of a weird maybe two, three weeks here where we've had the, the days off of all lined up and there's six of you in there. So you've only pitched on Thursday nights and Blake, who's throwing tonight, only pitched right. on Friday nights. Arturo's only pitched in the Monday day games and he's got another one coming up here yeah. Monday. Is, is that kind of weird for you guys or do you settle into a routine that way when you say, all right, well, Thursday's my day. Let's go get them. Yeah, that's sort of been the routine here in July. Um, and, and I think we're off that now. I think we only have one yeah. more off day for the right. remainder of the season. So we'll get back on that six day. Uh, thing but yeah I mean we started to develop a little bit of a routine but um, everybody's flexible and, and we'll uh, we'll shift into this new one did, did Arturo get the short end of the stick down when he's got all the 11 a.m. games yeah I think so and, and he's not normally a, a much of a morning person I was gonna either, say you so. would know you, you live with yeah, him yeah. so so uh, Sometimes we just throw them in the pool to wake them up in the morning. <laughs> that's one of the things. You're, uh, you're one of the guys in our host family program. I don't know if that's new to you, but how's that been for you this summer? Uh, it's been fantastic. Um, you know, we're very blessed and very fortunate to have that um, option, and, and, and they treat us really well, um, especially for, for us, you know, minor leaguers who, um, you know, who aren't making as much money. I mean, it really helps us save a lot of money, and um, like I said, I mean, they're great. I, I know – all the families here are fantastic. You get out there on the uh, the off day with them. I know some guys went golfing this week, and uh, you had an off day here at home. Wow, how'd you spend that? Um, so our host dad actually took us to play foot golf. Um, sort of this new thing wow. here on a par three golf course. It's like, I mean, it's like soccer and golf sort of blended. Um, but it was fun. We had a good time. Were you good? 
Uh, yeah, we did all right. First time out, all right. Wow, that's that's a little interesting. Yeah, I gotta look. Fun. I gotta yeah, look, yeah, into, look that. into it. I would definitely be better at that than I am at real golf. I'll tell you that yeah. right away. Out of, coming out of that, um, you mentioned the long stretch that we have here. Just one off day left in the uh, middle of August for you guys. Is that more of a mental thing? Let's just not even think about it. Let's just show up to the ballpark and play every day and not even look for an off day. Yeah, I mean, everybody knows you know what we've got coming ahead, and, and the coaches have preached you know get you know finish through the season. Don't just you know get to the end of the season. Right you know, go through this season. And I think that's got to be the mindset, um, just to show up every day and take it a day at a time. And then, um, you know, we'll cross off the weeks as they come and then, you know, get into August and September and hopefully get some playoff baseball here. You guys have had a couple of new additions onto the team here. One, Cesar Valera coming back from May, which yeah. is always uh, good. Rowan Wick uh, just joining the uh, roster. It's been Kyle Baraclaw just came back too. Uh, right. with. With Bearclaw and Valera, nice to see some familiar faces back. Obviously, you don't want to come back once you go up to Palm Beach, but sometimes that happens. And with yeah, Rowan, a new guy up, and uh, I know you guys all know him, so what's it been like kind of blending some guys into the uh, the clubhouse yeah, here? Right. I mean, it, it keeps things fresh, um, especially when you play 140 games and you get to see some new faces and, and some old faces that you play with at the beginning of the season. Um, it's nice. and. Um, you know, like I said, it just shakes things up a little bit. When you come in on your first night and you hit a ball 450 feet, that makes a nice new yeah, teammate sure out of Rowan Wick, too, it doesn't it? Does, yeah. <laughs> it sure does out of that. And uh, uh, Kyle and, and Cesar, good to see them back as well. With you now, uh, what, next time you'll pitch will be on the road up in uh, Wisconsin. What are the next couple of days like for you? Um, you know, just recovering and getting ready for that next start. I think we'll be on six days now right. uh, instead of seven, like, like you mentioned earlier. So um, we'll get, you know, one side session in and, and you know, stay up with our conditioning and, and our weightlifting program just to, to finish out the season. We got Christmas in July going today. You see all this stuff over. Favorite Christmas song? Throw you on the spot. Oh man! Because I didn't tell you I was going to ask that. Yeah, so what, what, do you, what do you got? I can't think of anything. Nothing. I, I love Christmas music though. So, um, but I'm not picky. You're not picky. No. So any, anything for you? Yeah, I mean, it, just throw on a Christmas Pandora station. You're going to be singing along in the dugout tonight. Then we play some Christmas music. You know, if you can get me one of those Santa hats, I might. Just steal one on your way off. Okay. That works for me. Yeah. Chase, great job last night. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. All right, Chase Brookshire with our PeoriaMagazines.com interview and our Pekin Insurance Poyer of the Game from last night. You can go steal the hat now. Right. That's fine. You're Thanks. good. <laughs> Chase will pitch, as we mentioned, on the road in uh, Wisconsin next week. We'll go up to Beloit and to Appleton. Before we get there, we've got a lot going on here at home throughout the rest of this homestand. Of course, tonight we've got the pitching for charity tennis ball toss for the Peoria Friendship House. So head up by the Pete Vanakin statue where you can buy tennis balls, six of them, for $5, a chance to win prizes, including a new TV. And it's also a flat screen Friday, so make sure you sign up for to win the flat screen Friday presented by Xfinity as well. Go up to that Xfinity table where you can sign up if you're 18 or over for a chance to win one of our flat screen Fridays this evening. Tomorrow, the Jason Mott bobblehead giveaway for the first 1,000 fans that come through the gates tomorrow. Also, Peoria native and NBA star Sean Livingston will be here. He'll throw out a first pitch tomorrow. He'll join us down here on the field, and then he'll sign autographs to raise money for the Sean Livingston foundation as well and the superstars will be here to entertain throughout the day we've got fireworks tonight we've got fireworks coming up on sunday as well where it's a six o'clock start fireworks on sunday presented by sefq we've got the kids lunch bag giveaway for the first thousand kids 12 and under who can also get a five dollar ticket which will get them a free hot dog free soda and a free bag of chips play catch on the field at five o'clock Player autographs at 515. We'll have the Justin Ringo poster giveaway for the first thousand fans as well, courtesy of the Peoria Journal Star. And it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Day, so we'll have some fun with that on Sunday night as well, leading up to the fireworks. This homestand will end up on Monday with an 11 a.m. start. Half price tickets and our Super Splash Day to finish off that series against Great Lakes and this entire homestand. We've got Lansing for one more tonight, then Great Lakes for three before we're off to Beloit and Appleton, Wisconsin. Make sure you go buy those tennis balls for the pitch in for charity tennis ball toss. We'll have that right after the game, right before the big fireworks show. Big thanks to 95.5 GLO for their sponsorship of the night and the fireworks here at Dozer Park. Sit back, relax, have some fun. Enjoy the Christmas in July, Christmas music throughout the night, and most importantly, cheer on the Chiefs as they look for a win against Lansing. We thank you for spending your Friday and your Christmas in July with us here at Dozer Park.